Hello, I'm Horace Dowdy, pastor of the Oxford Presbyterian Church, and I'm standing in front of the sanctuary uh, today, this afternoon, to bring you a nature lesson. And I can't believe that I've lived this long on planet Earth and did not know that this particular plant exists. It is called the honey vine milkweed. And I'm accustomed to the milkweeds that you are, uh, the ones that grow on stalks uh, a couple feet to six feet tall, and uh, the monarch butterflies uh, feed on them and, and nest on them. But this pod is exactly like the ones that, that, that grow on stalks. But this grows on a vine. Honey vine milkweed is what it's called, and you can never see it in the summertime because it grows up through the foliage on very slender vines, and until the leaves fall off that tree and off of this vine, and you see these pods, you would never know it's there. Now, the good thing about the honey vine milkweed is that it does support monarch butterflies, just like the milkweed that grows on, on stalks. Uh, all of the milkweed uh, plants, if you break them anywhere, they will exude a white, milky-looking, uh, sticky substance. And all of them produce seeds inside a pod. Every seed has its own little parachute, and the wind will take it for miles. Um, the um, milkweed silk has value. In fact, the, the military planted thousands of acres of milkweed at one time because this uh, down, this silk, is very, very um, uh, shock resistant, and they could use it to, to line garments and make them bulletproof. But since then, uh, artificial fibers have been developed. But another good thing about the milkweed is when it's young and green, either the stalk kind or the honey vine can be eaten. Now, in some parts of the world, uh, the soil is a little too bitter that it causes the, the food to be bitter. But these pods, when they're green, you can cook them like okra, and they taste like okra. And the leaves and stalks uh, can be eaten as well for, for human food. Uh, there is your honey vine milkweed. I saw this only because I saw the pods, and they were maybe eight feet off the ground, but then the, the, the vine, very slender vine, coiled up through the Bradford Pear and was so 20, 30 feet off the ground. But there is an unusual, not unusual, it's just uh, new to me, the honey vine milkweed found all over Virginia and the East Coast. That is your nature lesson for today.